What's in the box? Well, you probably know what's in the box because you clicked on this video. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Yay. Look at this. All right, so this is the Fender, made in Mexico. Troy Van Leeuwen Jazzmaster in Oxblood Red. Troy is the guitarist from Queens of the Stone Age, as well as Pucifer and a bunch of other bands. And uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's plastic. Trim arm, some... Uh, paper key something that you'll probably die if you eat okay. let's take a better look Hello, welcome to yet another episode of george's attic today we're going to be taking a look at the fender troy van luyen jazz master in oxblood or candy oxblood red which is a super awesome color Looks black in some light, looks red in some light. It's got a really pretty sparkle. It's kind of, I don't know, like a, a car red, maybe. You would have a car in like this, like a Corvette or something. Super fancy. We got binding on the fretboard, which is rosewood, I believe. And these really cool block inlays, uh, matching headstock vintage style tuners the classic trem system and uh this is basic jazz master like there's nothing like crazy about it that he changed except for the little uh black switch that you know you have to like squeeze your fingers in there to raise it up and down he's got a big old switch whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> so uh this is really cool and I like it, but I have noticed a couple of times while playing it, I have just like by accident, but um, for some of the music uh, I'm doing now, uh, I have this up all the time and it's not a problem because it's a very like low, low growly sound and I like that a lot. And this, uh, this trim arm kind of sticks out like higher than any other and I have like three other jazz masters so. This is very interesting, but I kind of like it and I feel like it's more, more tremmy. That's probably not a good word for this. Confession, I should have probably learned some Queens of the Stone Age riffs for today, but I did not. So you're going to get my normal crappy playing. All right. So, uh, we're all tuned up. Let's uh, plug it in, take a listen, and see what it sounds like.
bridge pickup sounds like this. <laughs> pickup which is hum cancelling and the two of them are there sounds like this and the neck pickup sounds like this
first one I saw that wasn't five thousand dollars used so pretty good deal uh, a little expensive for a Mexican Fender guitar but it's a signature model it's got these cool little details that the regular jazz masters don't have uh, it's got this really awesome case I guess it's like a tweed faux leather or some kind of thing uh, the American professional uh, stuff comes with like the TSA hard plastic case. I think these look a lot cooler and uh, they're a little, I don't know, a little more elegant, a little more classy. Uh, so check it out, see if you like it. Uh, this is a guitar that I'm going to keep and it's probably going to be my main guitar for a while. And uh, we'll see what happens. So. This was the review of the Fender Troy Van Leeuwen Jazzmaster. This has been George's Attic. Until next time. Bah!